Gently place the PRP tube back in the tube rack. After centrifugation, the tube should contain an upper yellowish plasma fraction, separation gel barrier, and the lower red-colored red blood cell fraction. The platelets reside on top of the separation gel. If your tube appears different from the example, reference the troubleshooting section of the video for assistance. On average, about 80%, plus or minus 9%, of the platelets collected in the whole blood will be retrievable after centrifugation. This example demonstrates approximately how those platelets are distributed throughout the plasma. About 97% of the platelets are in the bottom seven cc's of the plasma, with the majority of the platelets physically resting on the top of the separating gel. Keep this chart in mind when removing the platelet-poor plasma as it affects the final concentration of platelets. Aseptically clean the rubber stopper of the PRP tube by wiping it gently with an alcohol swab. Be sure to keep the tube still and avoid agitation. Carefully, insert the vent needle into the stopper of the tube for equalizing pressure. Position the vent needle offset from center in the air pocket above the plasma. Vent needle should be angled 20 to 30 degrees to avoid interference with the aspiration needle. Avoid touching the PPP. Connect the aspiration needle to a 10cc syringe by twisting the needle hub onto the lure adapter of the syringe. Adjacent to the vent needle, insert the aspiration needle into the stopper of the tube until you reach the upper surface of the plasma fraction. Carefully draw plasma from the surface, removing about 50 to 80% of the plasma. You are now removing the PPP portion of the plasma, also known as platelet-poor plasma. Avoid inserting the needle too deep from the surface of the plasma. Take care to perform this step while the tube is placed in the tube rack. Hold the tube with one hand while applying pressure and piercing the stopper with the other hand holding the syringe. Remove the syringe containing the PPP from the aspiration needle and set aside. Performing this step while the tube is not supported in the rack may result in disconnection of the tube from the cap. Attach a new 10cc syringe to the aspiration needle. Suspend platelets to prepare the PRP by picking the tube up out of the rack and gently inverting the entire device horizontally approximately 20 times. Perform this step while holding the tube in one hand and the syringe in the other hand horizontally and rotate the device to an upward position. It is important to note that these are not complete upside-down inversions it is recommended to use gentle horizontal inversions, vigorous or aggressive shaking, inverting, or handling of the PRP tube may cause the gel to breach and the RBCs to mix back with the plasma. Reference the troubleshooting section if the gel is breached. Draw PRP into the 10cc syringe while holding the tube in one hand and the syringe in the other. Angle the tube so it is slightly on its side to help with the PRP collection. Pull the PRP into the syringe with your thumb to collect all of the PRP. It is recommended to gently press the tip of the aspiration needle against the walls of the tube for better control of the needle. Avoid touching the gel with the needle tip as it may result in clogging the needle or gel slippage. Gently disconnect the syringe containing PRP from the aspiration needle and set aside. Once you have collected both the PRP and the PPP, the PRP is now ready for use. If the healthcare provider chooses to do so, the provided female-to-female -female lure adapter is intended to allow the user to transfer the PRP from the provided syringe to a different syringe. Simply attach the female-to-female -female lure adapter by twisting onto the syringe and then connecting another syringe to the opposite end. Contents from the syringe may be transferred to the other syringe. Properly discard of all blood collection sharps and tubes in biohazard containers.